where we can see a 3D environment, but that environment is not able to really immerse the user in it. For example, playing a 3D or VR game on a desktop or a console allows me to see and interact with that world, but at any time, I'm able to look left, right, up and down, and see my hands, the TV or the computer screen, and the room I'm sitting in while playing that game, so I can't ever be highly immersed in the virtual world on the screen other than experiencing it as a part of my real physical world. In contrast, a fully immersive virtual reality does more to immerse the user in the illusion of the virtual world and tries to reduce or remove the distractions of the actual real world. These systems strive to provide complete visual immersion where we can look around in full 360 degrees and always see the virtual world. Modern systems also provide simulated audio that reflects what's happening in the virtual world and that syncs up to what we're seeing all in real time. Fully immersive virtual reality typically also allows the user to explore the virtual world in some way and have that world change or react to our interaction, much as would be the case in our real physical worlds. Some more terminology we may come across when talking virtual reality are the terms augmented reality, abbreviated AR, and mixed reality, sometimes abbreviated MR. For purists in the VR space, these are actually both not considered virtual reality, but rather separate and different things, although closely related. Augmented reality does not seek to block out the real world, which as we know is key in fully immersive virtual reality. In fact, AR's position is to show us the real world overlaid or enhanced with virtual information. For example, an augmented reality app on a smartphone might allow us to visit a landmark hold up our mobile phone to it, view it through the phone's camera, and then see more information about that landmark pop up on the screen in real time for us to read. Mixed reality, on the other hand, is...